press conference was held uh, where the Member of Parliament, Raja Sabha, Pangnong Konyak from Nagaland, spoke to media persons and gave us uh, a highlight on nine years of the Modi governance in the country. Let's have a look at the report. Good afternoon and thank you all for coming. Today this press conference is focusing mainly on nine years of Modi government. Ever since Modi government came to power in came to government in 2014, there has been an unprecedented change in the development of the country. And our, Narendra, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji's led government has focused on uh, uplifting, uplifting the downtrodden. And this has been manifested in all the schemes and projects of the government. What India was before 2014 and what India is now is there for all of us to see. We, had, we have a Prime Minister who came in with Swaj Bharat. He started with Swaj Bharat. This was something which we never expected. He started with cleanliness and this has had an effect and impact on the country. Then we went on to so many different schemes and projects. For example, we have a government which thinks for the people. It believes in uplifting, uplifting the livelihood of the people who are beyond, who are out of the ambit of, you know, regular livelihood. So, daily wage workers, the ones who are there, you know, who do not have regular employment, everyone is benefiting from the schemes of the government. And this is a government which has not gone back on its promise. Whatever it, is it had promised, it has kept its promises and it has fulfilled it. For example, in Nagaland, we have many projects and schemes of the central government, but we can, we all know, for example, one, two schemes, which has had an impact on the lives of the people, especially when we come to schemes like uh, Ayushman Bharat, where Ayushman Bharat, the government is committed and then in Nagaland, 32,000 people have benefited and they have availed free treatment worth 55 crore. So for a state, for people who cannot afford health care, to get free treatment worth 55 crore, 32,000 people have benefited. And also we have 331 AB health and wellness centers which are operational here in the state. Likewise, our state is also benefiting a lot. There is this Ujwala scheme and also Anna Garib Kalyan Yojana. So all these schemes of the government, various schemes of the government are always targeted to the poor. BJP as a party, we believe in being a party with a difference. And why we say it is a party with a difference is because it is not only election-based party, but then throughout the year, the party works for the people. So here, these days, we are commemorating one month. And in this one month, we will be reaching out to the beneficiaries of various schemes because throughout, during COVID, COVID was something that was unheard of. We did not know what to do, the whole world. It was not only India, but the whole world did not know how to deal with COVID. But then our Prime Minister, with his vision, he came and then he gave impetus and vaccines were developed. And vaccination was done on such a large scale and it was a very successful way in which we combated COVID. At the same time, so many food grain, food grain distribution to the people. And it has reached everyone. And Prime Minister's vision is last mile connectivity. So that is why we have the road sector developing. The look is policy, which earlier was look is, is now act is. So Northeast and Nagaland, we are also benefiting from the various schemes of the government. The government here has a policy which is focused on developing the nation. And it follows this nation first policy. So it always puts the interest of the nation and then works for that. For example, we did not have direct benefit transfer earlier. So direct benefit transfer under Digital India has benefited so many people because it has cut the middlemen. So the beneficiaries get direct benefit straight to their accounts, Jandhan Yojana. So this is a government which works for the people, which is for the people, and it has a success story that India has changed and it has transformed. And this is a government which works with a vision. And that vision 
is being fulfilled with the various schemes and projects of the government. In Nagaland also, we have many youths who have also benefited from the various schemes of our government. For example, uh, uh, Jal Jivan Yojana, where every household is being connected with potable water, so with tap water connection, so 2.2 lakh households have been provided with tap water in the last three years in Nagaland. And then under PM Awaz Yoshna, 16,000 houses have been built in Nagaland. So all these are benefits that the people are reaping from the people-centric government that we have now. And then in the future also, we see, we see that this government has a lot of vision. It's working with an aim for upliftment of the people. And then the schemes that the government conti continues to introduce will all be focused for the welfare of the people. Prime Minister's Awaz Yoshna, which provides housing, given in the women's name, that is also being done well. So housing for all these promises that the Prime Minister has made. So these are being fulfilled. These are deadlines that you know we give, and then everyone works. So it is the whole mechanism which works together. It is the government, the functionaries, the government functionaries, who work together to achieve these goals. It is you and I who work together to achieve these goals. Housing, yes. Also, the other one was electricity, electricity water. yes. Electricity, water, yes. We are working, but then at some, like especially in hilly terrains like us, there are challenges. There are challenges because we do not have all weather road, for example. And sometimes you know, there are challenges that face, but then in spite of all these challenges, we are achieving the goals. Also, Vande Bharat Expresses are being introduced all over the country. Just yesterday, North East got its first Vande Bharat Express. So all these things are coming. See, for infrastructure, see, what India was, and in these nine years, what India is, we all have to admit that it has changed. And our expectations are high, which is natural, yes. We expect a lot, because this is the government which delivers. So our expectations are high. And the government is fulfilling its promises. So whatever promises, we cannot say that it hasn't been. It is being more or less, in many places, 100% electrification, 100% jal jivan, 100% has been accomplished. So definitely, these are goals and they are being achieved.